This is Joseph Trust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how can I apply different materials on the same subtool? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I have the earthquake model here loaded in. And the question is asking about applying materials to a mesh. So inside of ZBrush, if you come over here to this palette here, you'll see you have all these different materials. And you can come through and select these materials, and it's going to change how your model will look. So let's say I have a model like Earthquake here, and I want to apply different materials to different parts of him. So I'm going to come to the subtool palette over here, and let's say I navigate to the teeth. And I'm going to click this eyeball icon, so I just have Earthquake's teeth and gums selected. Then I'm going to press the frame button to get it zoomed in, and then I'm just going to zoom out a little bit here. So let's say with Earthquake's teeth here, I want to apply a different, shinier material to his teeth and then maybe keep the gums the same way. So how can I go by doing that? So the painting of materials is a lot like the painting of color. So if I have the standard brush selected here and I come to the top, I'm just going to turn off Z Add. And then over here, you'll have this RGB channel, which you will probably have on if you're doing painting. And next to this RGB channel, you have this M channel here. So the M is going to allow you to paint materials. So RGB will paint color onto the model, and then M will paint material onto the model. So with this standard brush selected, if I just toggle M on, and now I come over to the material palette and open this up, and let's select a different material, say maybe this Ma shiny material here. And now I come across my model and I just start painting. This will now apply that material to the surface of my mesh. So you can see now I'm applying a different material to Earthquake's teeth. Now you'll notice when you're applying this material that it may come out looking chunky like this. And this is because the material option needs to have a full polygon in order to apply the material. So it's not going to give you that blended effect like you'd get if you were just painting with pure color. So if you want to alleviate this harshness, just make sure your model has enough topology so you don't notice the effect. So I'm just going to divide this up by pressing Control plus D. So I'm going to get it up to around 4 million polygons. And now if I come through with this shiny material again and paint, you can see I'm going to get a cleaner result. So you just want to make sure you have enough topology on your model since the material painting is not going to do any blending between those two materials. So it's going to look at the pure polygons on your mesh and apply it like so. So now I can come through and say select any of these different materials here and just paint on the surface of the model here, and this is going to apply that material to that area. Now you can also fill the entire object with a single material. So I can come over here and say select that skin shade 4 again. I can make sure I just have that M option on, go to color up here and do fill object, and that will now fill the entire subtool with that single material. If you want to erase a material from your mesh, so you no longer want to have the material baked into the model itself, you can come over here and select the flat color material and then do that same process. Just make sure you have M selected, go to color and do fill object. And that will remove any materials that you have painted on your model. So now if you cycle through the materials here, you're going to see the whole model is going to update because none of those materials are applied to the vertices of the mesh. So the process again is just have a brush selected make sure you have M on. You can fill your model first with an entire material. So just come and select a material, go to color, do fill object, and that will fill the entire mesh with a material. Then you can come through and select different materials. So maybe this toy plastic here, and then you can come across the surface of your model and paint, and that will allow you to paint that material in that area. So now I can just take this and say, make all of Earthquake's teeth shiny through here. And this material channel, again, is a separate channel from the RGB channel. So you can still come in with RGB and paint color values on this, and this material is going to live on top of it. So now I come through and just give Earthquake some shinier teeth there. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing!